Hey guys, Garrett Hartle here from Reach Out Reptiles. I want to do a quick video about how I incubate eggs. This is after a couple of decades and dozens of species that I've hatched. Anything from pythons, turtles, colubrids, uh, even monitors that take sometimes over, you know, almost a year to hatch. Um, the system's great. It's a modification of a very old school system. I've tried newer things and stuff, but you know, for me, egg care is like is like animal care. It just takes time and, and dedication, and and my incubators work great like this. If you like something else, do it, but here's how I did it. Okay, so here's my little selfie video. If you have questions, just email me, Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, at reachoutreptiles.com, and I'll try to help you out. You can check out the, the website and stuff, maybe find some more information on there. All right, so here is my incubator. I'm going to give you the exact uh types you can you can do different variants of this but if you do these exact types uh you know products it fits really well igloo 128 quart uh it's supposed to keep ice for like five days keeps eggs really long uh and then i have these really useful boxes i don't know if you can see the name there really useful box nine liters office depot they're like maybe ten dollars this is perlite straight perlite from like a, your local nursery or plant place you have to rinse this you know you you i sift it through screen get all the dust out and rinse it because it is dusty but then i let it dry thoroughly this can take like two weeks so make sure you get ready in advance but it'll clump but um there's no moisture coming out and honestly even if it doesn't clump and it's totally dry you're okay i put about two inches in here uh, this mount doesn't matter too much. You want something in the bottom there just to have a buffer because my heat is coming from the bottom. So you want that to disperse through it by the time it reaches the top. And you need enough to bury an egg in to where it'll sit still and not roll around. You don't want your eggs touching the lids. Okay, now I drilled just a quarter inch hole on two opposite corners. And uh, between that and a loose fitting lid, I actually, they have these handles on them that they come with. I, I just take those off, okay? And between that, you get the loose fitting lid. This is really just to keep water from dripping down on the eggs. So it doesn't have to hold the air in with the system that I use. Now, the great thing about the way those fit, I've got a one clutch of, so here's 29 Superdorf reticulated python eggs. Uh, that's one clutch. I could fit about three clutches of these. This will do maybe 12 clutches of ball pythons if you put them together. So here's what I do. Um, I used to have a, a rusty metal thing on here on the bottom that would hold them up just kind of like bricks uh, or, or anything like that because I had some different, I used to use these, sorry for the mess, these hefty boxes. But what I love about these really useful boxes is that they fit in perfectly. The little latch there catches on this, which is built into this, um, this igloo. So that's why I showed you it. So this will just literally just drops right in place, you know, and uh, nothing else holding it. Just drop the tub inside the box and there's enough room that I can stack them too high and still close my incubator. Meaning I can fit six of these little boxes. I could only fit three of those other ones that were almost the same size uh, just because they're not as good on space. So I put two fully submersible aquarium heaters in there. Let me move these guys over eggs and you'll see they have to be the kind that have a an adjustable thermostat not the automatic ones or you won't be able to set temperature I put two in for redundancy's sake so that if one ever shuts off or goes bad or whatever the other one will keep going now there's just enough water to cover them and let's see if I can show you this there's a circulation pump in there I mean this thing is just covered by water there um, and that gives me enough of a body of water that it keeps that temperature very stable in there. Uh, unlike, you know, a heat tape and air fan circulated system where you get hot spots throughout and you're always working on that. This stuff is, is just bulletproof. It's throw a couple of, of uh, the, the submersible water heaters in there, turn them to where they kick on and off at the same time. I put the circulation pump in here newer just because with these double high boxes, I wanted to make sure there were no hot spots under them. So it just runs the water around through there and it's, it's working great. This keeps the air at 100% humidity. You can see all the droplets of water on the inside roof here and it keeps the water off of the eggs, but that's why your medium doesn't have to be wet. This is basically like a sim type of system 
um, it, using perlite to keep the eggs lifted and, and separated. So I know that technically they have a substrate on them, but it really is, is just holding them in place. So I dropped my boxes in there. You'll notice I put a couple of vent holes. These are all just quarter inch. And you, this is a little trial by error. You wanna have a decent amount of airflow, but be able to hold the temperature. And this thing holds the temperature great. Um, I don't have any issues with it. And you know, maybe once a day, uh, or you don't need to do it that much. Could be twice a week, really. I'll go in and I use my, I don't worry about the thermostats on there, but I'll just use a little point and shoot thermometer to check the temperatures, obviously this is outside the, the incubator. Check the temperatures and get them the way I want. I play with my thermostats until they're correct. And uh, that's it. It's, it's a very stable, sustaining system. You don't have, it's low maintenance. It's pretty cheap. Like I said, the entire setup with everything, I think it was about a hundred bucks for me because I found the, uh, the igloo on sale. You can use used ones, you can use other sizes. You just want those boxes up off of the water. You get the water heated with redundancy down below and you're good to go. So I hope that helped. If you guys have questions, Garrett at reachoutreptiles.com. We'll see you around.